Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dee. So in today's video, I wanted to answer just a quick question I've been seeing pop up a lot lately. And that question is, how do the people who don't have any autoantibodies get diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis? So I have a video or playlist, I should say, already going over the different types of labs with rheumatology. Um, in this case, if you have a normal or negative rheumatoid factor, and you don't have those autoantibodies, and then you don't have any autoantibodies from the ANA panel or the arthritis panel. So if you want more info on those labs specifically, I already have a video, I'll put a card up so you guys can check that out. And basically what the doctors do if you don't have those is they look at your symptoms. Many times, if you're not having any of that uh, blood work popping up, but you are thinking rheumatoid arthritis or your doctor's thinking rheumatoid arthritis, you usually have some sort of symptoms. Otherwise, why would you be there? <laughs> um, and again, there are some exceptions, but for the majority of people, they have something, whether it's joint pain, joint swelling, really bad fatigue, you know, just feeling bad, like malaise, like something is off. So they're going to look at all the symptoms, how long you've been feeling them. They're also going to do an exam where they actually look at how all your joints move, you know, how you, you know, how easy it is if you have stiffness, you know, walking around, things like that. They also will look for other stuff like rashes, you know, um, if you're having any other like odd symptoms going on. And then what they do to confirm a lot of times that there is an autoimmune arthritis going on is that they will do an MRI or an ultrasound. Some insurance companies require you to do the x-ray first. And if that's the case, then you have to get the x-ray first. That said, the x-ray is a little different because the x-ray is only going to pick up on bone erosions. And that tends to happen like late, late stage rheumatoid arthritis. You know, at that point, that's when you start getting deformities and things like that. You know, that's way down the line. Most of us don't have that for a long time. And many of us never even get to that point because treatment has improved quite a bit. So don't be surprised if your x-ray comes out normal. OK, if your x-ray comes out normal and it's not a rheumatologist that is ordering it, I would definitely recommend asking them about the possibility of doing either an ultrasound of whatever joint is bothering you or an MRI. If you can't have an MRI, then a CAT scan would be the next best thing. Um, and what happens with the MRIs and the ultrasounds um, and the CAT scans, just not as well as the MRIs, is that it will show oh, the arthritis is right there. So it doesn't matter what blood work you have. If it's right there, you know, it's right there. Like they can visibly see it and they'll be able to get you a diagnosis that way. So when you see or hear the term seronegative RA, that's basically saying the person has rheumatoid arthritis, but their autoantibody stuff's not showing up. And it could be for many reasons. It might just be those autoantibodies aren't gonna show up till later. Um, in the pediatric population, which is where I worked as a nurse in rheumatology, there was a decent amount of kiddos who would have these symptoms and, you know, you do the autoantibodies that come back normal, but then you go and do an ultrasound or an MRI and it's like, oh, yeah, that's some pretty bad arthritis right there. And that's how a lot of them get diagnosed. And it's the same concept with adults. So there you have it. I hope that this video was helpful, um, and if you guys have had similar experiences or can relate to any of this stuff, definitely share in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.